Hey everyone, welcome back with a new video. Long time no see. Uh, I've been away for more than three months. Um, it has been 99 days since I last uploaded a video. Uh, I took a little break, uh, a much needed break I have to say, because before uh, I took my break I was uploading videos almost every week for the last two years. So um, I took a little break, well a little break, um, and I'm back and I hope to be uh, back on my normal weekly schedule. We'll see, I plan on releasing a new video every Monday, but we'll see how that goes. Um, Thursday, Effects Home actually released a new version of HitFilm Pro and Express. Uh, both are now on version 12 and I want to uh, spend this video looking at the new software, looking at what's new, what's improved. So let's start right after the intro. So here we are inside of the all new HitFilm Pro 12 um, and the first thing you might notice is a complete redesign of the layout. Honestly I love it, uh, it took a little time to get used to, uh, I do have to uh, admit that. I'm a beta tester so I got to see this version of the software uh, way before it got released so uh, I am used to the layout. Um, and as you might notice, at the top you don't have the four tabs like you used to have before. Instead you have um, a layout that is similar to other programs of its type. Uh, up here you have file where you can create a new file, open files, save, save as your project settings. So those are in, uh, in here instead of a new tab. And you have your options which we will look at later. Then here you have edit, which has uh, undo, redo, slicing, copying and pasting, all that kind of stuff. Uh, view, so here you can change the panels, the workspaces, all that kind of stuff. And then you have a help tab. So this is actually the uh, layout file that I use for my Film Empire videos. So as you might see here, I have the letterboxes, I have my standard composite shots, um, and I want to show you something really cool. Now if I go into the intro composite shot, you can see that you have different colors of layers, and that is a new feature of HitFilm uh, 12. And I absolutely love it. It is so useful. If I go in here to the options, you can see that there is an entire plethora of uh, different colors for your layers. And I have set uh, the uh, I have set image layers to be gray, composite shots to be blue, camera layers to be red, and text layers to be yellow. So if I go into this composite shot, it's really easy to see which layer is which, and it makes it so much easier to edit with. I love that. Um, so also um, new GPU decoding and um, some GPU accelerated stuff has been added, uh, threaded rendering for example. So this means that HitFilm should actually run way smoother than it has done before. And I do notice that while playing back some effects heavy shots that the performance is quite great. Um, so yeah, the threaded rendering and GPU decoding on some GPUs uh, definitely helps. Now, I want to go to the feature that is probably the best feature in this version so far, and that would be the ability to publish features. Now, I will show you what that means. Uh, for example, I have this intro composite shot that I use for my videos, because every video I need a new intro. Now, before I had to go into the intro composite shot, go to the text layer and edit the text layer, close up the uh, intro composite shot, it was quite a hassle. But now you have the ability to publish the text layers and that means that you can edit them outside of the composite shots. So to do that, I can go in here to the text layer, click publish, well, I have published it, so now it says unpublish here. Um, so uh, I can click on publish and that means that if I go over here, add the intro onto my timeline here, I can go into the control section and edit the title. So I can set this to be title 
there you have it. But if I want a second title composite shot, I can just add that in. And as you can see, it has the original text. I can edit the title, title two. And now I have two intro composite shots without actually creating new composites. And that is super useful, especially for the name overlay that I have. Now in the beginning of this video, you saw this overlay where it said my name and host. Um, but in some videos, I have more people, so I need more name cards. And before that, I had to go in, duplicate all of the name uh, overlay composite shots, edit the titles all separately. That was such a big hassle. But now I can just go in here, go to controls, and I can edit the name and I can edit the title because I both published them and I can edit them right outside uh, of the software. So for example, if I have someone named Peter, I'm just choosing a random name here. I have a name layer with Jamie and Peter without actually needing to duplicate these composite shots. And that is so useful. It's going to save a lot of time, a lot of uh, duplicated composite shots because this will unclutter your media bin here. It's, it's super useful. Now, let me check if I've forgotten something. Um, I don't really think so. Now this publishing feature is not only for text, but it can also be for effects. So for example, uh, this text has a drop shadow over here. Now if I want to uh, edit the distance of the drop shadow, I can right click, select publish, and then outside of this composite shot, so just on the editor timeline, I would be able to change the distance of the drop shadow. So not only for uh, changing the text, but also for changing effects, which is super nice. Now, um, there's also a whole bunch of new effects. These are animation effects. I'm not sure if they are also in HitFilm Express uh, natively or if it's an add-on pack, but here in HitFilm Pro, I have a whole plethora of text um, animations. Well, I say text, but there's also some normal uh, animations. So the center wipe, the evaporate, pinwheel, linear wipe, these are also for videos, I believe. Um, so these are new animations inside of HitFilm. So instead of having to animate them yourself, you now have extra animations, which is super duper nice. Now let's see. Here, you can also uh, create templates and import templates, uh, which is super nice for example, lower thirds, but it also has some installed templates. So if I go over here next to import to installed templates, you can see clean box line, clean double box, flashy L hook, left align, line wipe, super simple and transparent box. And these are some uh, lower thirds templates that come with HitFilm itself, which is really cool because this means that instead of having to create something all by yourself, you can just use these pre-existing uh, templates. And uh, I believe you can also save your own templates. So that is also very useful. And then I think that I've featured uh, everything, the animation effects and the composite shot templates that can be exported and imported. Yeah, that is everything. That is quite a big update uh, to be sure. Um, I think that the publishing of layers can be super, super useful and um, I'm going to edit new videos, new episodes. So this is going to be really nice when editing. So that is it for this video. Um, I hope you liked it. If you have any more questions, be sure to leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time with a new video. Bye bye. Hi there, thanks for watching. Click here to see my latest video, click here to see a highlighted one, and click here to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already.